I'm going ahead with the next question. Here we have a pod, my data pod, in data namespace, which is not running. We need to fix it and get it in, in a running state. So, as per the question, it says that all the supported definition files are placed at slash one slash value. So, alias g qc2 g get pods hyphen and data. As we can see, it is in a uh, pending state. As per the question, it is in data namespace. And uh, we have files available here in the root directory or our home binding directory. So, as we can see, this is a clear indication that we need to modify these files and then try to apply them and see if it works. But uh, let's just check what, what could be the issue. So, g describe and then code, code name is my data code, i data code, i name the data. Here we can say it has some issue related to p1 code. It is not found inside. So, let's see what it says in the configuration file, p1 code. Get code. As, as it is looking for p1 code to align with the uh, volume that is to be mounted. So definitely this issue is something to do with p, either PV or PV, PVC. So G P. When we list the PV, we can see that it is aligned with default namespace. Whereas my code is running inside data. But uh, by default, when we create PV, it goes to default. Means it, it is not assigned to any of the uh, namespace by default. It is it is the PVC PV plane. So, uh, whatever we run inside that that aligns this PV to any of the namespace. So let's just check the PVC. G PVC. Here, PVC claim looks to be good, but we cannot identify here anything. We need to check whether namespace information is given inside the PVC. So, if we see G one claim, here we can see there is no namespace given. So, it is assumed that it is default namespace. So, we need to ensure that it is going to namespace. Data. That's what is expected. <coughs> but once once it is aligned with any of the namespace, the PV, it stays with that namespace. If you want to make use of this, you need to remove everything, including pod, PVC, and then PV, and then reassign it to any of the namespace. So we need to delete one by one. Uh, so let's just delete G. Delete code my data code and have data. This is deleted. G and delete PC P1 thing. So because it was in default namespace, I don't have to specify the namespace. Same way, let's check if the PV is there. So it is released, but it's still aligned with default. So let's just delete this one. So G delete P is also deleted. G now let's just create everything right from the beginning, one by one, step by step. We have already modified the claim, and rest looks fine. So G apply hyphen F, and then we are going to specify our Okay, I need to specify F instead of G. Okay, now we will specify PV1 claim. PV1 also created. Let me check G get PV. So as we can see that it is aligned with namespace data now. Now we are going to create the code. Apply, 
Now it has been created. G get code. Ultimate. As we can see, the data pool started without any issues. So this should sum up this question. I guess uh, you got the idea, and I try to explain it as good as possible. Thank you.